What is our next main topic today? Um, next one is from Kelvin Omar. Brother John, my brother, my brethren in the small circle known as Man of Steel lovers. Did you catch <laughs> that story that came out yesterday when Snyder revealed that the role of Lois Lane came down to Amy Adams, who obviously got the role, and Zoe Saldana? How different do you think the movie would have been had Saldana gotten the role? There is, look, okay, I absolutely, for those of you who may not know, I love Man of Steel. I love that movie. Um, but there have been a number of things that have come out from that movie and some things that we've learned about from behind the scenes that are pretty questionable. Like, for example, we know that they were very much looking at maybe getting Brian Cranston to play Lex Luthor. And then kind of last minute, they went with, uh, oh, what's what's the name of the kid who played it again? Who played Lex? Uh, Why am I Aaron, Aaron Eisenberg. Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, Eisenberg played it. So... I've always thought... Jesse Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg. I always thought, well, these are two completely different actors. Did you not have a grip on what you wanted your character to be? Because these aren't two actors who were going to bring you the same Lex Luthor, clearly. Like, and I've always kind of wondered about that. Hearing about Zoe Saldana uh, being, being this close to getting the role... It's fascinating because I do think she would have brought a very different thing. But again, to me, Rob, it makes me scratch my head and go, okay, wait a minute. Did you know what movie you were making? I mean, at, at first, you you it comes down to either Brian Cranston or Jesse Eisenberg. These are two totally different performers. They're going to bring totally different Lex Luthers. Like, your job as a director is to know your character and then get the actor that best fits that character. And Amy Adams and Zoe Saldana, they're both great, but they're very different performers. And, and I have a feeling that had Zoe Saldana played Lois, I think it would have been great. But I mean, Amy Adams is one of the world's greatest actresses, but I think Zoe Saldana would have been great, but a very different one. And again, I'm left to go, okay, damn, I love this movie, but did you know what you were doing? Did I mean, did you know what your movie was going to be? Did you have a firm grasp of your characters? Or were you just winging it? Because again, going from Cranston to Eisenberg, that's a winging it kind of move. Coming down to Amy Adams and a Zoe Saldana, two completely different types of performers. Did you have a grasp of who your character, of who your Lois Lane was? Anyway, I'm super thrilled with the way the movie turned out. It's a top 10 all-time comic book movie for me. I adore it. And I love Amy Adams in the role. I will say this. I think Amy Adams is a little bit of a better actress than Zoe Saldana. I can't help but feel like maybe Zoe Saldana might have had a little bit better chemistry with Henry Cavill. For whatever reason, if I had to pick out a thing in, in Man of Steel that maybe wasn't a 10 out of 10 for me, wasn't a top shelf thing, was I never really super, no pun intended, I never really super felt the uh, uh, chemistry between Amy Adams and Henry Cavill on screen. I, I just never felt on that level and maybe Zoe Saldana would have brought that. Now, as it turns out, I love the way the movie turned out and all that kind of stuff, but I hear a story like this, Rob, and it makes me just scratch my head a little bit. Anyway, how do you think Zoe Saldana would have done as a Lois Lane? And is there anything else about, like a few things in this stand out to me, does anything else stand out to you? Well, as far as I'm concerned, Zoe Saldana can pretty much do anything she yeah. wants. Yeah, pretty <laughs> I mean, much. Look, even even though I think they uh, talk about be people being done wrong, I think the character of Ahura was not done right, really, uh, oh, throughout the Star I Trek loved franchise. Her as Ahura in that. She was great as Ahura. She just wasn't given a lot to play uh, as the series went on. I loved her in the role. I love her in every role. I loved her in Avatar. I loved her in Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. I think she would have made a great sassy Lois Lane. I think she would have knocked it out of the park. I agree. Um, and I I wonder what that movie could have been. I mean, Brian Cranston, I, I, I think, you know, there's often, when you're making a film, uh, I tend to not think about actors when I'm, say, reading a script or something, because I like to see what actors, I want actors to surprise me personally. And I think that, that when you're thinking about uh, Jesse Eisenberg or Brian Cranston, you could in your mind have two totally different things that you could see would work. And and even though they might seem totally different, it doesn't necessarily mean you're not thinking about them. I mean, I think that in your mind, you're rolling those things around like, I have this one idea that's kind of off the wall, which is Jesse Eisenberg, or I could go more traditional with Brian Cranston, but he, he, offered, he, he, he opted to do something different. And it's really Lex Luthor's son. Right, it's not 
kind of like what they did in in Smallville in the final film. I, I guess sort of like because they always talk about his father. So Lionel, Lionel yes. Luther. So yeah, it, yeah. So yeah, it, it's it's interesting. Again, it's a very it just strikes me as very odd. But yeah, ultimately, I agree with the question. It would have been a different movie. I, I mean, not entirely, but it would have. There would have been a different dynamic to the Lois, which means there would have been a different dynamic to the Superman and Lois relationship, which would have overall affected the movie. Would it have been for the better, for the worse? We'll never know. What do you guys think? How do you think Man of Steel would have turned out? Do you think for the better, for the worse, no difference at all? Had it been Zoe Saldana instead of Amy Adams? Let me know what you think. Jump down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts.